Hello everyone, this is General Haggerday. Welcome to my home where I'm going to serve you another European breakfast delight. <laughs> Yesterday was the Dutch pancake. So I want to show you this poster here. This is the Global War poster for, um, for 1936 to 1945. Wicked poster. Um, and cool idea by Doug um, to do this. Uh, there's also going to be 1914 poster and uh, there'll be four other people on there. Anyway, so what this is, so this is Doug here. Um, had to take a picture of him and then an uh, artist, you know, redid it and everything. Uh, this is Will, he's the, he's the main rules guy. This is Morton, he's from Denmark. He's the guy I talk to most about rules and everything. And this is Delijah here. He is the guy that I got the um, Dutch pen and cook strategy from. He's, uh, he's from Denmark. So, so I put out this this video yesterday with the Dutch panic cook, and uh, Morton uh, sends me a message this morning. He goes, "Hey, where's the Danish bacon?" <laughs> so I guess uh, I guess he figured he should get his own video too. So let's do that. Okay, so I asked Morton. I said, uh, "What's the Dan what's the Danish word for bacon?" And he said, uh, "Bacon." <laughs> Okay, well that makes it easy. Anyway, here's Denmark here. That's the home territory of Denmark. And then they also have three colonies over here, as you can see, Iceland and Greenland and whatever that one is that I can't read it, it's upside down. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, so what's to say about Denmark then? Well, it, it would be easy for Germany to come up here and take that now, wouldn't it? But when you, when you consider the rules that uh, are attached to straits and canals, um, and in this one in particular, obviously, uh, the, the Allies are not allowed to come in here. They're not allowed to cross through this canal, or the, sorry, this uh, strait right here. This is the Danish Straits. They're not allowed to, none of them, not, not France, not, uh, not Great Britain, not America. None of them are allowed to come in here until, um, well, sorry, while it is neutral. So if you're the Germans, why not just leave it as neutral, right? Like if um, there's a, a penalty that, are, uh, sorry, like there's, if the, the British and the French are not yet at wartime income, then there's a little bonus that they each get every time Germany takes a, a country, right? So that's, you know, like that's, that's kind of hurting you to take that, right? And it's helping your allies. Whereas you're only getting one IPP out of it. That's all that Denmark's worth. The colonies out there aren't worth anything, right? And the other thing is then those colonies are going to go to um, to Great Britain um, if you were to take this one out. So um, it, there's not much benefit to it, right? Like you're losing more money than you're gaining, right? Um, and, but, the, but the big thing is though that um, it, um, for the, the UK to attack this or for any of the allies to attack this, it's going to cost the allies 10 IPP because they're attacking a neutral or a minor power plus it's going to give the Americans a minus 8 penalty on their income. Now that's the big one there because you want America to get up to wartime income as fast as possible, right? And so if the um, if the Americans are going backwards, I mean that's a, that's a pretty good D, D12 roll right there, an 8, right? <laughs> that's, uh, that's better than most of my D12 rolls when I'm playing the American and I'm trying to get up to wartime income. So, you know, like that's better than average, right? Um, you're, you're setting yourself back at least one turn but, or, uh, going to war by, uh, by attacking Denmark. And so the only reason you would attack it, you know, is so that you can move through there. Uh, there's no other reason to attack it. Why would you pay 18 in, in order to just get one IPP, right? Uh, so what's in there that <laughs> that you need to pay 18 IPP for? You know, it's not like um, in Global 40 where this territory here was was the capital of Germany. It's not the capital of Germany is landlocked in here. So skating through there and attacking that isn't you know like it might be a softer target, but I mean it's chances are Germany's going to be able to take it back anyway. I, I just don't see a huge benefit to be being able to go through there. Uh, maybe taking out the German Navy is something that you might want to do, but is that worth 18 IPP? So anyway, if you're Germany, why take that? You know, you're just going to get the other guys a bonus. You're only going to get a dollar out of it, and then.
then you're going to be vulnerable after that because if this is German, what are you going to do? Are you going to pile 10 dudes on there just so they don't take it, you know? Like that's going to drain away from the French resources when you're supposed to be going towards towards Moscow and, and uh, towards Paris if you haven't taken those ones yet. You know, this is just going to be a drain on your resources. Uh, having it like this is kind of like having a minefield on your back door. You know, this is like a minefield to the Allies trying to get into the Baltics, right? So, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, even though Danish bacon tastes good and it looks good, you're going to want to just, you know, ease off the Danish bacon because uh, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do you more harm than good. It's going to um, create uh, inches around your waistline, let's, let's put it that way. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my take on, on, on uh, Danish bacon here is if you're the Germans, just leave it alone and, and don't bother with it. If Germany does take it, well, that's great for you, for the Allies. Um, so that's for you, Morton. I hope you enjoy your Danish bacon tomorrow morning. Take care, everyone. General Hand Grenade out.